there. Welcome to Will Taylor Music, the land of Will Taylor, jazz violinist out of Austin, Texas, arranger, composer. And I am trying out some different live videos here. If you want to watch this without any commercial interruptions, that's right. And I've tagged a lot of my friends, music friends, if they're, they're wondering and they're watching this, why did you tag me, Will? Because <clears throat> I want you to c consider this for yourselves. And maybe it's a model that you could adapt from what I'm doing. I'm trying this out. And I would love your feedback. You might say, Will, you're crazy. But if you're interested in watching this without commercials, you can log in and become a patron stringsattached.bandcamp.com and back here are some original pieces of mine and I've got what I want to talk about is I've got these what does this say? Led Zeppelin? Can you read it? Actually you know what you can't read it because it's using this anyway that says Led Zeppelin this says Stevie Wonder I've got some more here I'm going to share with you but what if you could get your hands on my entire arrangement library after I'm talking here, I'm going to show you what my library looks like. But before I do that, and before I tell you how you might get your hands on my entire sheet music and arrangement catalog, imagine that. I want to take you back to a time about 10 years ago when I was writing arrangements for the show we did, Led Zeppelin, a tribute to Led Zeppelin. We did this at St. David's Episcopal Church. And for those that you, of you that I have tagged that were at the show or knew about the show, Mimi, I know you're watching this, um, share your remembrances below. I want to use this technology to, well, obviously I have my goal of monetizing what I've created with strings attached over the last 18 years. I have all of these arrangements that fill up an entire closet and what good does it do them to just sit in there in the closet they're just sitting there gathering dust and <clears throat> maybe somebody could use that maybe you could use those arrangements maybe you would be interested in looking now we have this technology to digitize everything where this library that I have that I've created is could be available to everybody for a subscription fee you might think I'm crazy but what if I made this available for a certain amount, $5 a month, $10 a month. Now I'm going to show you the extent of my library if you watch to the end of this video. I'm going to show you the, the extent of my sheet music library and arrangement library, the custom arrangements I have produced over the last, honestly, 30 years. I'm going to show you how I'm. you might get access to that if you hang on. Anyway, this just is one show right here one sliver of that arrangement library this is our Led Zeppelin show and I want to take you back to the time when Strings Attached started in 2001 my original idea for this was to further develop my skill as an arranger so that I could be a film composer and I never became a film composer and who says that I still can't do that but I might do that but I wanted to write a show every month and produce quickly some beautiful arrangements and it started out working with the singer-songwriters like Sarah Hickman um, but then in 2005 a really good friend of mine Tucker Livingston who I should tag in this video came to me and said Will why don't you do the White Album and have a different guest from the Austin music community sing a song from the White Album that would make a great show because it's a double album and so he presented that idea and I said heck why not <laughs> so Tucker had all these connections with Gary Clark Jr. Joe Ely, his dad Bob Livingston and we ended up presenting this incredible show we did two shows in one night at this Baptist Church the University Baptist Church on the drag and we broadcast it live on KLBJ I believe and we ended up selling the place out twice. We ended up having 1,600 Austinites come to see the White Album. And we had one guest per song. And the way that we made that transition from one song to the next was we had the strings play an instrumental version of another Beatles tune. So while we were playing instrumentally, and the audience was watching that, 
the next guest would come in, Gary Clark Jr., um, uh, you know, Carolyn Wonderland came up, and as soon as they were set up, then we ended that instrumental piece, and we went right into the next song from the White Album. That show ended up being the biggest show that Strings Attached has ever done. And based on that, after that show and that success, I made an album, released it on iTunes of all those performances. You can get that on iTunes. Will Taylor and Strings Attached plays the White Album. Carolyn Wonderland's on there, Gary Clark Jr. Uh, matter of fact, one of the performances, uh, Gary Clark Jr. got uh, discovered by a famous musician. And if you stay subscribed, you'll find out about that. But anyway, if you don't want to get the ads that are going to come in on this, become a subscribing member. I'm making all these videos, making a lot of them. I'm so glad you're tuned in. But anyway, back to the White Album. So a light bulb went off in my head. I thought, wow, I may have found a way that I can make a sustainable living. I can do tribute shows. So immediately we planned our second White Album show three months later at Nutty Brown Cafe, which also was highly well attended. And then Brad Evelsizer, Brad Evelsizer came up to me and said, Will, why don't we do Led Zeppelin, the songs of Led Zeppelin with the same format, with different famous artists coming in to do Led Zeppelin. So we did that, and we did three shows at St. David's Episcopal Church. We uh, broadcast it live on K KLBJ, and amazing, 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 amazing comments. We had a light show. We had John Pointer. We had somebody from the uh, Band of Heathens. Just a really beautiful cross-section of the Austin music community played songs from Led Zeppelin. And I wrote these arrangements. The original idea with Strings Attached was to write arrangements that involved the musicians of Strings Attached. Sort of like Duke Ellington would write for his musicians, I would write for my musicians because I know their strengths. And it's a particular sliver in time. This is 10, 11 years ago when we did the Led Zeppelin show at St. David's Episcopal Church. And we've done it many, many times um, since then. But these are the arrangements right here. How would you like to get your hands on those? How would you like to know how to play a whole, whole lot of love and what, get into the brain of, of my ar arrangements? We've got Friends in here, Dazed and Confused. Mark Gutter was on that show. Friends. This is one show among 50 or 60 shows that I've produced. And, like I said, Led Zeppelin. This one is Sting and the Police. Right here. <clears throat> and so it started off a whole trend where I did tribute shows. And they differed from most cover bands that do a tribute show, try to duplicate exactly how the artist played it. And I have nothing against that. That's what a classical symphony orchestra does. A classical orchestra is a cover band. But what I tried to do is stay true somewhat to the original, but also add our own flavor to it own the songs, own the songs of The Police and Sting, and invite artists who want to do that same thing in the Austin music community. And I still want to do this, and I'm asking for your help to become a patron. And if you become a patron of Strings Attached, you're going to help me bring back these shows. You're going to help me continue to focus and feature the amazing talent we have right here in Austin. And one of the benefits you might get as a patron, matter of fact, I'm going to make this available for a month. I'm going to say this right now. If you become a patron at $5 more or higher, you're going to have access to many of the arrangements that I have done. I've already got them on Dropbox. And so I'm going to take you right now, and also you're going to have access to a lot of my original music. Charo number one. This is a piece I wrote 24 years ago for Julie. Uh, where else are you going to get access to this kind of music. The Led Zeppelin show, Sting and the Police. Let me show you. I've just shown you a small sliver of what you could access by being a patron for five bucks a month. And I'm thinking that I'm only going to make this available for the first month. After that, I don't think I would make my entire arranging database. And I am coming to you with a feeling of trust. Trust that you're not going to take my arrangements and you know, rip them off and, and sell them somewhere else. I'm coming to the 
folks that really care about Strings Attached and want us to continue doing the work that we've created and worked on for 18, 20 years. We're going to use this technology to monetize and make it possible for us to continue our work 15, 20 years from now. So I'm going to show you the library of Strings Attached Arrangements that's just sitting in my closet. So what have I got? All right, this is 18 years of work, and what have I got? I've got Willie Nelson music. I've got various strings attached guests, band member, Turtle Island String Quartet. Let's see, Tucker Livingston, who I mentioned helped me with the idea. Trish Murphy. This is all in alphabetical order. I've got Patrice Pike. I've got the Rolling Stones. Let's look up here. What have I got? House of Wills, Trumpet. All this music is going to be digitized and available to patrons. And for the first month, I'm going to make available a sliver of this to look through digitally on Dropbox. Why should I just let it sit here and gather dust in my closet? Pink Floyd, Paul Simon. We've got House of Wills. Is house that uh, Mimi, you are the inspiration for that which is uh, Western Swing and Willie Nelson in one. We've got the Joni Mitchell out show, Back to the Garden. All of this music I'm going to make available. It's sitting in a closet. So why don't we make that available to patrons? Not only will you, as five, if you sign up as a patron right now, come on, guys, why aren't you signing up as a patron? I want to know. I've been putting this out there for two years now. Two years. And no, okay, people are signing up. I've had 50 people sign up in the course of two years. I'm making all of my music available, including the White Album. Now I'm saying I'm going to bring a sliver. Maybe I'll bring on a, a half of that library available to you digitally. All of those arrangements that I've poured my heart and soul into. I'm, you get to come to house concerts four times a year at least, invited to house concert for five bucks a month. Why isn't... Why aren't there more people? Tell me below. Why aren't there more people signing up for this that believe in Strings Attached, that believe in what we're doing in Austin? I am asking for your help. I'm telling you right now, the way that musicians make a living is dead. The way of chasing after gigs, the way of, of selling CDs, of selling music is dead. So I'm asking you, I'm coming to you, if you want Strings Attached to survive past April 30th, you need to sign up five bucks a month as a patron or more. Some people have signed up at $100 a month, $50 a month. I have proved to you that I'm trustworthy, that I am here to stay in Austin. And if we get to the level of 200 patrons by April 30th, I will continue doing everything that I've been doing. But if we don't get to 200 patrons by April 30th, I will stop and I will only play the music for the patrons. That's it. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, stringsattached.bandcamp.com is where you sign up as a patron for five bucks a month you're going to get access to house concerts my sheet music and arrangement library that is on Dropbox right now for, an, for one month only and then I'm probably going to upgrade it later you're going to have to be at a higher level to get access to all of that you're going to get everything that I've recorded professionally five bucks a month right now for the next month we're trying to get to 200 patrons. We need your help. Charlene, are you going to help us? Why? And I'd like to know why. What are, what are the resistance points? Just tell me right here. Out of the 6,000 people that are on my email list, out of the 10,000 or, so so, 10, or more people, why will you not sign up for the cost of two cups of coffee? Why? Two cups of coffee a month and get all of this content, you've come to my shows, why? I know there's many ways that you can support Strings Attached, <clears throat> and I want to get us to the next level. Wouldn't you like to see us do more of these tribute shows with amazing artists like Joe Ely, Eliza Gilkison? I can't get those guys. I can't get artists like James Taylor, like Pearl Jam, to play for the rates that I'm able to pay right now. I've had 18 years of asking world-class artists to play for 40% of the door. They won't do it anymore. The Eliza Gilkesons, the Slade Cleaves won't do it anymore. So I'm coming to you and asking for you to sign up as a patron so that we can keep doing that. 
I'd like to know what are the resistance points? Why are not why aren't more people signing up? Nobody's commenting, but there are four people watching. Why aren't more people signing up for five bucks a month? Why do you not value what we do here in Austin, Texas? Can you tell me? Why? Uh, does it, do you need to know, have more evidence of what I've done? Do you need more evidence? I'm curious. Uh, buying CDs, that's helpful, but that's not sustainable. Buying CDs will not support an artist sustainably, will not support strings attached. I'm asking you to make an exception for me. If you know what I've done in Austin, would you make an exception and, and say, yeah, I'll support you, Will, for two cups of coffee a month and get access to your entire recorded data, your entire recorded library, access to some of your arrangement library, access to all of the house concerts that you do all year long. I'll sign up for five bucks a month. I'll contribute $60 a year, or maybe I'll contribute more. I've had folks sign up at a $100 level so that I can make a sustainable living that I can retire on and not just survive. Have I not contributed enough to the Austin music community to deserve more people than 50 people that have signed up as of today? D is it possible that a few more of you believe? I'm going to end this video and I know for a fact that nobody is going to sign up after this video. I know that some people have said to me, Will, don't get negative. That doesn't work. I'm not getting negative. I'm just telling you by April 30th that we don't have 200 patrons. I'm done. I'm going to serve the patrons that have signed up, but I'm done doing donation-based concerts. I've contributed 18 years and I'm done. But if you want me to continue and you want to be one of those 200, get your friends on board for $5 more, two cups of coffee, one glass of wine. How much does a glass of wine cost at Whole Foods? How much? Probably six, seven bucks. And you just do it like that. If 200 of you sign up, We'll be done, and we'll keep going after April 30th. Thanks a lot, and I so appreciate you watching this. I'm going to edit all this out, obviously, all these pitches. But stringsattached.bandcamp.com, there's a small sliver of 18 years of work right there. Here's original music we're going to bring online that you can have access to. You know, other people are doing this. Other uh, artists, other journalists, other companies are doing this. Uh, KUT, all the DJs, they get paid to make a living. They get paid to do their thing. Would you like to pay me? Would you like to pay me to keep doing what I do in Austin for the last 18 years? That's all I'm asking. <laughs> so share this video. You know, sign up now. You know, prove me wrong. I'm going to click finish. And in 30 minutes, I'm going to look at my email, prove me wrong, sign up for $5 a month, stringsattached.bangat.com, and then prove me even more wrong, and get your friends to sign up for 5 bucks or more. Gosh, it would make my day if I have four people or five people signed up for 5 bucks or more to support Strings Attached and get all these things. You're not getting nothing. You're getting all this stuff. You're getting all the music. You're getting access to the Strings Attached library. You're getting access to the house concerts, so it's still in the commercial realm, right? Okay, bye guys.